Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, just a moment, folks, and we'll be going live. All right, everyone, it is 8 o'clock, and it is time to get this party started. I, <clears throat> I am Robert from Game Room Live, and I'm going to be starting out our stream here. My brother Patrick will be joining us momentarily. And uh, let me just make sure the last of the settings on uh, the game and the Twitch stream are all working the way they are supposed to be. I've been setting it up for the last five minutes or so, so it should be just about ready to rock and roll. So, I hope everyone's excited for the old blood, Wolfenstein the old blood. We're going to be continuing where we left off in a previous uh, video that we did on our uh, regular videos. And this is all part of us uh, kind of doing a bit of a tribute to uh, those who fought in World War One. I. I mean, not World War One, World War Two, mm -hmm. in sort of a roundabout way. Um, we just recently had the 70th, 70th anniversary of uh, yeah, it was all part of us, uh, kind of 70th anniversary of VE Day. The anniversary of D Day will be coming up here pretty soon. So we're going to be doing some tributes uh, videos. Uh, as part of our Let's Play series and our stream tonight. So enough babbling, let's get started. Unfortunately, my German is failing me. <laughs> and I believe we're playing on the hardest difficulty, and I'm probably going to have to switch the camera back because... Seriously, these guys are having a grammar lesson right now? Okay, really quickly, I've got to make sure the controls are set up, because I'm sure... Yep. <sighs> Crap, how do you crouch? Interesting for you. I'm so glad you were able to share that little anecdote with us. Something glows over here. Armor? Armor? Nice. 
Okay, so a uh, quick little uh, summary. We were on a mission to infiltrate uh, the castle of Death's Head, I think. We were trying to get some information from someone named Helga. Everything went pear-shaped, and me and my buddy got captured. And now uh, I'm probably trying desperately to get out. Well, that worked. Golly, it's always one step forward and two steps back with this game. Okay. Oh, yes. Is this a golden skull? Can I be? No, it's just a regular skull. Alright, skulls, skulls everywhere, that's creepy. Okay, can't go that way. Go this way, yes! Alright, how about that? Hush. Hello, what do we have here? Note from Helga, need to get this inscription on the sarcophagus translated. Edit edit regime scenarios hic sarcophagus. My if that's Latin, that's not working for me either. <laughs> okay, seriously, how do I crouch? I was like already. I'm going to try and be stealthy here. Excuse me, fellas. There are a lot of dead people back here. This is giving me a very large Indiana Jones vibe here. <sighs> Stop yelling. <sighs> For the love of... I don't think... I don't think this was meant to be have any sort of stealth aspect to it at all, was it? Gold? Oh good, a metal that is completely useless to me in this current situation that can only serve to weigh me down and slow me down. Okay, hang on. I'm not going to be able to do this run properly, am I? Ha-ha! <laughs> Hang on a second. There seems to be a knocking at my door. Hey, I locked? Yep. Mm, that's weird. Why are you Twitch streaming using the Elgato? Uh, why wouldn't I be? Because the Xbox One is a native Twitch streaming app, which we've used before in the past. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm using the internal microphone on the computer. That way it can pick us both up clearly and... Ah! ...without any problems. Yeah, well, we don't get a video feed, which is more important. Okay, let's see if I... Oh, more climbing to be done. Okay, well, here right, we go I'll again. We did our see in about 20 minutes. Or less. So, internet, I will return! Yeah, he'll be back in 10 minutes.
Wait, which microphone are you using for the computer? Internal microphone. Oh my goodness. I've already tested like it out. Shiz. No, it sounds fine. I had already tested it out. Okay. So, so far... Oh, okay. We do this hatch here. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, here we go. Doing the climbing again. Okay, I think I got the hang of this. Carefully, careful. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Someone's walking nearby, and I can't really tell who it is or where they're coming from. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hang on. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this stealth thing. not die with and scream at the same time that'd be really helpful oh well it doesn't seem to have alerted anyone Okay, well, I'm actually doing uh, better at this than I thought I would be. What is this? Normandy Defense Museum to open next week. Paris, March 15th, 1946. Two years after the failed Allied invasion of Normandy in June 1944, the Wehrmacht, in cooperation with the People's Front, is ready to inaugurate the first Normandy Defense Museum. Spread out on three beaches, the museum is connected by an underground metro and will feature tours of the bunkers, encampments, and the beaches themselves. 156,000 Allied soldiers died during the attempted invasion of Normandy. Only 89 German heroes lost their lives. This failed invasion was subsequently dubbed D-Day by the Allied aggressors, where the D stands for the English word for death and is perceived by many to be the final nail in the coffin for the already strained Anglo-American alliance. When asked about the speed of which the museum was built, the chief of the museum remarked its poetic justice. The museum was built by the enemies we captured during the invasion. They came here to destroy our fatherland, but ended up building a monument to their own defeat. Of course, that's not what really happened, but uh, this is an alternate history, isn't it? Well, looks like I'm going to have to... Hang on. Okay, come on. Let's, let's let's get under here. Come on. Hello. Okay, seriously, I'm already crouched down. Why can't I? Seriously, getting under a door like this shouldn't be that damn hard. Crap. 
Okay, seriously, am I supposed to slide under here or something? It's been a while since I've played this, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we're cooking with oil and grease. Oh, crap. Snipers. That's not a fun prize. That'll do it. Trying to keep an eye out for any more of the buggers. Gotta go down, I guess. Wait a minute. Oh, for a second there, I thought the pommel of his sword had a happy face on it. Okay, looks like I get that sniper rifle out again. Time to get a much better gun, I think. I wonder if the difficulty has actually been turned down, because this seems a lot easier than it ought to be. Get some grenades. Okay, can't go in there. Where else can we go? Can't go in there either. Oh, we go over here. <laughs> okay, we did that. I guess I'm supposed to swim over there. This is the slowest swimming ever. What the heck? Sometimes I hate realism in games like these. Pushing some buttons, trying to make him go faster, but... Oh well. You know, I've raised enough alarms that you'd think, you know, the entire army would be coming after me at this point.
The shock hammer, I like the sound of that. That's not good. Wow, that chewed up my armor pretty good. I forgot how to use the damn hand grenades. I think it's right button. Or no, that's the inventory. Dual stock shot cameras. I'm gonna use one for now. Yeah, I mean, come on, all these gunshots are echoing all over the place. I think they have sent the entire army after me at this point. Way into the keep. So good. All right, guys, come on, come get me if you dare. Point your head up. All right, I'm just gonna collect your armor and ammo. Come on, come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Hey, 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 hey. I'm in the going to the keep, man. Do it. Do it nine times. I will do it nine times. Alright. Oh, forgot to check my corners. That could have been bad. Alright, exiting level. Yeah, Come we on. beat it. Over. Small door for such a small person. What secrets does this hold? Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's a guy up there. He's seen you. Every time. <sighs> Every time. I just don't understand how you guys can play like that. Yeah, blow his snag off.
Jeez, it's a big Come pistol. On. Oh, I missed there. What's, oh. that, what's that a miniature elephant gun? Oh. I knew that was gonna happen. Explode in your face. Well, at least there's some med packs right there. Oh, you jerks. Yeah, well, you've got a bigger gun than they do. <laughs> There's another guy off to the left. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jeez, you have this sound cranked up on this headset. <laughs> it's a uh, perk to collect 100 helmets. Really? Mm hmm. Well, you gotta make up achievements for something, I suppose. I also got the special revolver shotgun, or whatever it's called. The shock, I think it's called the shock breaker. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Perhaps there is a hidden place behind the uh, fireplace, like in Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. Hmm? Um. No, it wouldn't be that easy, of course. <laughs> we see a throwing knives now. Yes, I do. Oh, that's where you can just come, come around the corner. <clears throat> I just ate Stuff. the uh, ghost pepper spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Oh. Pretty good. It actually pretty, tastes nice. Pretty tasty. It's spicy with a nice little aftertaste kick. Hmm. That's cool, that's cool. So I already mentioned at the start of the stream uh -huh. about how we're doing uh, this, uh, doing several uh, videos and streams like this to uh, celebrate uh, both the anniversary of VE Day, that was a few days ago, and also um, you know, the anniversary of D-Day, here in about a month or so. Well, actually less than a month. Um, actually, I was just reading an article in the game. I was talking about how the D in this timeline, the D-Day invasion failed spectacularly, with 146,000 Allied soldiers dead and only 89 German soldiers dead. That's some serious freaking technology. him good. He's got a long range on it. <clears throat> yeah, it's not too bad. And the, that rifle there has been upgraded with its sight. See, what are the perks? Oh, I need a whole bunch more of those kills. Only uh, 20 more from cover, mm, 11 more of those, 10 more sound commanders. It's not too bad actually. No. I haven't figured out what the pipe head explosion is, have you? Pipe head explosion? Yeah. No. I don't think I've done that yet. Oh, isn't there dual wheel kills? Yeah. Well, might as well skip those. <sighs> I will say one thing, though, with regards to real history of World War II. If you enjoy sleeping at night, don't read up on the stuff that, uh, what's his name, Mengele did. Oh. Those death camps. Yeah, not. Not the best or brightest things in the world. Yeah, if you if you ever needed an example of if you ever or I should say if you ever needed to resolve the question of whether the Nazis were evil or not, or whether they bred evil or whatever, just read up on a few of the things that Mengele did and you know, it 
really makes you wonder, it really makes you hope that guys like that are actually insane because it's really hard to accept the fact that someone could do that and be totally... Uh, <clears throat> well, you know, the Japanese right did mind. a similar thing in their yeah, uh, research units, labs. What was it called? Unit 378 or something like something that? Something like that. Makes you wonder if we did it and just never found out because we won the war. You know what I mean? Mm, well... Oh, no, I didn't want to detach you. I, I kind of oh. hope not, because a lot of that stuff was really, really heinous. I mean, you know, yeah, we had the Japanese-American... These are these red guys. I don't know those. Uh, they're heavy armor troopers with the shock thing, shock brake, or whatever they're called, shock guns. Yeah, which, funnily enough, according to game logic, makes them vulnerable to their own weapons. Right, we're playing on super pussy hard mode, right? Uh, are we? I actually didn't check the difficulty level. I assume oh, we it's... left it on. I think it's normal. Oh. But yeah, like I was saying, yeah, I mean, we had the Japanese American internment camps, but as bad as those were, they were nowhere near as bad as, you know, say Auschwitz or any of that stuff. But, yeah. you know, I, I really don't think we did. You know, even though. Probably what the worst thing that we did, besides the Japanese American internment camps, was all of the rampant oh, nuclear testing stopped. after the war. Because uh, I, I forget which ship it was, but we had a sh there was a ship we used in the Bikini Atoll tests that uh, accidentally got sunk in one of the Pacific Islands and contaminated the local wildlife and reefs out there with nuclear fallout. That was kind of a big mistake. You've unlocked a challenge. Keep foyer. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. Oh, I think you're... Yeah, climb. Climb the wall! This is a climbing sim. Did you know that? <laughs> it's Not a lot of people know that this is actually uh, a climbing sim. Okay, nobody there. What I do know is that Jaeger is the German word for hunter. Don't even bother with the pistol on him, it'll just bounce right off. The heavy armor troopers are only vulnerable to their own shotguns. Ah, oh, the kitchen, man. I'm so not hungry now after eating that amazing <laughs> food from Wendy's. <laughs> Sponsored by Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, we wish. <laughs> They can get both of them. Nope. Ah, he saw you. That's for it. It's no fun to play this game anyway. <clears throat> Unless you're going double barrel. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. That's right. Coming out of the wall, sphincters! This guy off to your right. Yeah, yeah right there. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, they killed you. <laughs> I almost had him now. Mm -mm. Oh. So the health over some of the most of the oh, features. I almost in this had that game, guy. Um, like the health overcharge have been around since the very first Wolfenstein, right? Yeah, I believe that's correct. Took him down. <laughs> How you boys gonna do without your officers around? Stormhounds. The little dogs. The little dogs. Not another one. Done. That's how you do it, man. Blah, blah, blah. 
Better get out of there before they notice something's up. Once the uh, commanders are gone, you can just do whatever you want. <clears throat> like, yeah. like teabag people, see? <laughs> oh yeah, you Nazi scum. You Nazi buggers. I was actually, I've actually been doing a lot of uh, reading up on World War II recently. I realized that while I know a fair amount of information about the war in Europe, I'm actually lacking in knowledge on the war in the Pacific. So I've been reading up a lot about that. Uh, recently, I kind of switched back to the European theater. I was watching a documentary on uh, the HMS Ark Royal, which was the Royal Navy's uh, first modern aircraft carrier. And uh, all the things it did, like uh, searching for German battleships, the pursuit and sinking of the Bismarck, and uh, its unfortunate sinking got, got snuck up on by a U-boat and uh, got sunk. Which no one likes. Nope. You gotta hate it when those submarines sneak up on you. Who's this jag off? Oh. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh. Aww, he killed a puppy. Not a puppy. <laughs> Actually, yeah, given what they've probably done to that dog, it's probably a mercy killing. <laughs> oh, wow, I think you just... I think you guys just blew out most of that guy's innards. Well, he was taking a crap anyway. Oh, man, that's... How would you hey, like to have that hey, guy looking at you? That's, uh, that's... What's his name? The Hunter? That, that's Frankenfurter. Mr. Frankenfurter, from earlier in the game. Why has he got a portrait of his own? Why are there so many skulls around here? Picked up Ingrid's Ingrid. letter. Ingrid. My Ingrid. This is a crapper. Oh, really? Toilet paper was supposed to be in pretty like scarce quantities during the war. A lot of stuff here. was in scarce quantity. Grandma was telling me about the, the other day about how uh, women even had to give up their hosiery. A lot of women would actually paint their legs so it would look like they were wearing hosiery. I'm not sure why that would really be fantastically important when everyone knows there's wartime shortages, but, you know, I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. You know, that's what we need to do is our next, you know what we should do for our next stream is we should figure out some way to live stream our Nintendo 64. If that's even possible. Hast du gewusst, dass sie ein halbes Jahr lang im Amazonas Dschungel auf sich allein gestellt waren? Mit ihren Beinen? Wie kann man so etwas überleben? Mit einem Willen aus Stahl. That was close. Hm. Head pokey poke. Loki pokey. Oh, you jerk. Yep. There we go. Kaboom! Hey. But you know, that's just kind of like something that you get kind of detached from the violence since it's a game and you know you're not actually killing anyone real, but that's just gotta be so freaking traumatizing, like you're charging across the battlefield and all of a sudden you feel something whack into you and you look fall down and then you look down at your legs and realize you only got one leg now. 
And, uh, oh, by the way, you're also bleeding out, so unless something happens in the next uh, 30 seconds, you're gonna die. Hey, Commander. <laughs> no more reinforcements for you. Anyway, on to slightly more happier subjects. Um, I was also watching a thing on U.S. fighters like the F-6F Hellcat versus uh, the Japanese Zero. Oh, yeah? And, uh, you know, it's interesting how, you know, just little tiny Ooh. variations and uh, skill of the pilots can make all the difference in aerial <clears> engagements. <throat> like, um, the Zero was actually, you know, it was very deadly in the hands of skilled pilots, but it did have its deficiencies. For example, it didn't have self sealing fuel tanks like our fighters did, so if it got hit by uh, direct fire, most of the time the Ooh, we found, found a secret, secret area. area. Cool beans. Remember this one, guys. Is that it? Do we just get the honor of... What the crap? Way to go 8-biddle. Oh, man. Check it out. We're playing classic Wolfenstein. This is kind of awesome. There we go. <laughs> this actually kind of looks like Minecraft, actually. Welcome to, like, 8-bit. <laughs> I love it. This is awesome. Are those, yeah, yeah, those are portraits of Hitler on the wall, aren't they? Yeah, it is. Oh man, this is awesome. I have no idea where I'm going, so it's going to take me like longer to do pathfinding mm -hmm. than it is. Yeah, how much do I bet this is actually? This is actually based on a classic level from the original. I think design. it is the original level. Oh, there's an officer! Oh, 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 oh. This is absolutely awesome. This is the best thing we could have done all night. <laughs> so, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Hellcats and Zeros. And, uh, you know, is this after... counting? Oh, do you want to wake up? Cancel. <laughs> no, not yet. You know, this could answer an important question. You know, instead of do androids dream of electric sheep, do video game characters dream of 8 bits? Or 16 bits, or whichever era this came out in? It was pretty much a PC game originally, and it was, it was ported to consoles later, I think, right? Oh, yeah. We're just basically mowing these guys down. They have absolutely no chance. I like how the 8 bit, in order to make this work on a console like this, some of the 8 bit uh, props basically have to like, rotate around That's to maintain how they perspective. Work. Well, yeah, but, this, but now on a modern console, it's completely obvious. I don't think you can blow it up. 
different, you know, the Battle of Midway and a few other battles and the Japanese hadn't lost like lots and lots of their experienced pilots and fighter aces uh, they still might have actually given us a pretty good run during the war and if they had uh, been able to manufacture the Zero successor um, oh, geez, I forget what the name of it is at the moment but The uh, one? <laughs> hmm. No, it had a different name. Uh, you know, things might have gone just a little bit different. I mean, American industry probably would have still overrode them. And then once the war in Europe was over with, and the British and the Soviets and us were able to concentrate our full might, and then we probably still would have lost, but we probably would have paid for it a bit more dearly. Crap, it is food. Hmm. Oh, there's the door, but I need the key. You know where the key is? Not a clue. It's, it's somewhere, obviously. Is where are we going to find it? Are there more? Yeah, that's the way we came. Oh man, pathfinding. These old games. Backtracking. Goodness. Mm. Mm. For want of a key, where are we gonna find it? But you know, that's half the reward of these games is that is you know figuring out it out Probably on your own. Here. You know, I think you know nowadays that we have such access to game facts and IGN and Every kind of online uh, player's guide you can want for. You know, we kind of lose a little bit of that magic from these games that. Um, oh, you know, come on. Figuring everything, or having the reward of figuring out these intricacies and puzzles all by yourself. And of course, all the let's plays that people post up on YouTube. food on the ground and not on the table. Because that's what it, how it used to be in the original game? Hmm. I'm sure there's probably some- Oh, in your face! What are those old silver? I think it used to be money in the game. Hmm. Probably somebody somewhere who's gonna watch this and is gonna be like, No, oh, you fools, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way the entire time. There it is. Hey, there we go. Now 
about that? All right, now I just remember the way we came. It's uh, that way, right? <laughs> and I like when devs do stuff like this because you know this isn't really a necessary thing to put in the game. They didn't have to spend time making this. They could have left it out completely, but no, I'm running back. They did put it in, and you know that just kind of goes to show how much uh, you know they care about their fans. So uh, let's see who makes Wolfenstein. Kind of blank. It was it, man. Come on. It, of course. It. Yeah. Ah. I was blanking on that totally. But you just leave the doors open. Those brown trees scared <laughs> me. Back to the land of 1080p. <laughs> okay, can I play now? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, now you get the achievement like 10 seconds after it popped, or after we did it. Steal the bread. Steal the booze. <laughs> and all their resources went into helmet making, that's <laughs> for sure. So that was a secret area. Mm -hmm. Or is that a, a wall I can destroy? It is. These are security cameras with their nothing but lights. Weird funkadelic. There's like some bagels there. Oh, it's a pretzel! Pretzel! Oh, some pretzel and some beers. Well, I think you're supposed to do that thing. Back Am there. I? It had a circle on it. I don't play by their rules. <laughs> and if right. I. No, 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 you're supposed to get the gold. It's gonna throw me off later when I replay this for collectibles. Creepy how 9000 eyes. Actually, have you ever noticed how your characters in these kinds of games are able to run around the levels um, toting all this crap and guns and stuff and have you ever wondered if anyone could actually do that? No, and there's been plenty of videos on YouTube to disprove it. Well, actually, uh, the Mythbusters tested that out, and uh, while Adam and Jamie were kind of encumbered by having to carry around dozens of guns and ammo boxes and health packs and whatnot, uh, when they actually got someone who was really physically fit, I think the guy they got was like an MMA fighter or something, 
He was actually able to do the live action video game level they set up in a reasonable amount of time. Oh, no, Just shoot him in the junk. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, well, here we go again. Grenades! Grenades everywhere! It was actually pretty intriguing, and they did uh, base their level off of their live action level off of Doom, which, of course, wouldn't you? Actually, did it uh, do Doom as well? Man, you're gonna have to return your gamer credibility card. Dude, before my time. Plus, we didn't oh, do a lot of... Oh, got in there right as I was about to die. <laughs> Plus, didn't really do a lot of... Um... Oh, it's a boss fight. It's time for a Is boss it? fight. Or maybe... Hey. Yeah, because that's the buddy you came in with, right? Come on, yeah. Wesley. Wake up. Gotta wake up. Come on, Wesley. You have zombie eyes? No. Blaskowitz. Yeah. Some dire straits we He's missing teeth, teeth, man. I don't know how you pulled through. Or is it just British teeth? I can't tell. <laughs> how much you want to bet he's gonna die after getting a last word in? Count to four. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. You got it. You should try it. He's here. Golly, man, you went and got yourself caught again. This guy has a very bad habit of that happening to him. Hey, it's Mr. Frankfurter again. I was hungry. I did want the flesh to go to waste. I'm sure you understand. You sick little Nazi fuck. <laughs> Little Nazi fuck. You are a funny man, clone of the class when you were a boy, I would guess. Well, the funny ends here. My father died of electrocution. Such accidents were not unusual at the cold fields of Hua Valley. I remember my uncle telling me that he was standing in water when it happened. Water is a conduit for electricity. And what is in our bodies? That is right. Water. When I press this button, Electricity will flow through your body, carried by this water, and it will cramp up and you will feel the most intense pain you've ever felt in your life. If you do not want to feel this pain, which is completely understandable, you need to answer my question without hesitation, so... This guy does way too much talk. You need to punch Claus. him in the face somehow. Who is this Claus? Santa Claus. Tee <laughs> Santa Claus is my contact. Ready? He's gonna push the button. Uh, 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 the pain, the pain, the humanity. Why do you? I think I just came. Oh wow, he had to go there. Oh, he's probably gonna stab you with that. Your war. How much do you want to bet? When I break free, I will fry you in this chair till you die. Oh, yep. Told you. Well, that's gonna make it kind of hard for you to move around. Exhale. One last time, then I will kill you. Who is your contact? <coughs> yes? And when I'm done with you, I will kill your dog. Let me! Can he kill his dog? Oh, that's convenient. Killed your fucking dog, Rudy. Wait. Oh, you seriously, he actually escaped? I think he'd be dead by now. Okay, well, better get out of there before the entire German army shows up. Bad guy. Yep.
Yeah, they can be killed by the assault rifle, but it's easier to use the uh, shotgun. Oh, dang it. Okay, you died. My turn. <laughs> Uh, okay. Every time. <laughs> Killed your fucking dog, Rudy. <laughs> and frozen. Frozen and then thawed. Uh, Frosties are never as good as they are when they're fresh. No, they're not. Oh, where do you find those? Behind the bar? Put your gun there. Yeah. Okay. I bet this level's fun on Uber. Oh, I bet it's tremendous fun. Uh, ran out of ammo. <clears throat> Let's try that again, shall we? Killed your fucking dog, Rudy. <laughs> Got it. Pick up the gun, pick up the gun. There's our gun coming. No way, I want them to come to me. You can well, aim down the sights, you know. Killed your fucking dog, Rudy. <laughs> Killed your effing dog, Rudy. <laughs> I want him squished, seriously. Grab the overhill. left and then you're trying to very cool.
Folks, clutch moment, Rob. Are you in the zone? I killed your fucking damn every time. It like, <laughs> what are you laughing about? Nothing, nothing at all. And like, I got like wedged between the guards and I couldn't move, and he was just like freaking out. I killed your fucking dog. I mean, this is turning out to be the most hardest part of the whole damn thing. It's actually been relatively easy up until now. <laughs> I guess we had a grenade at this point. Be coming around to get you, you know. I'm patient. Seriously, you like stabbed him in the heart. Shouldn't he be dead by now? I guess you just missed it. No way, he's a fascist torturer. He probably doesn't have a heart. Probably not. <laughs> he survives off of self worth alone. <laughs> and his dogs. There's still the red guy wherever he's skulking around. I'm sure he's skulking quite close. Probably going to shoot you in the head when you least expect it. This is gonna be good. Oh, that was quick. Now you got some shock hammer. Question is, though, how do you get out of here? Yep. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. Where is that chest? How's it before? 
Nope, nope. Probably through that door over there. Yep. Okay, well, this is the end of the level. Shing. Get a grip, PJ. Carry on. Something's gonna happen. Dude, he's got a pipe through his leg. The village. Yeah, he should not really be able to move around this well. No hill for a stepper, right, Billy boy? No hill for a stepper. <laughs> they got the think, power. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? No. <laughs> well, I think this is where we'll stop. Come back maybe tomorrow for our next Let's Play of Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Are we going to do another one? Yeah, we might just keep playing this game. We'll just see what happens. I mean... Come, come for the blood, <laughs> but stay for the climbing sequences. Of course. Boom! Punch me in the face. Now stab you and sit on your cross. Also, uh, don't forget to check out the uh, links on our video to our Facebook and our Twitter and other social media. Also, check out our Patreon. Yeah. We uh, would love to have your guys' support so we can produce awesome content that you guys want to watch. We have nothing really to give you for donating to our Patreon, so kind of treat it like a GoFundMe. Well, we do have a few things. We can, like, we'll have uh, scripts and behind the scenes stuff. And um, we can also, well, and yes, you know, contributing to the Patreon will contribute to better swag. Plus, uh, we'll have uh, Salt Lake Comic Con coming up here in a few months, and that'll be quite awesome. We want to get into all the ah! awesome stuff. Oh, what was that? I can't actually kill myself. I think it's supposed to be an anti dumbass <laughs> code. <laughs> Also, don't forget to check out our previous uh, Twitch streams. They're all archived on our YouTube page. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about everything. Yeah. So, um... Uh, Yavol. Yavol. Heil Wolfenstein. <laughs> and, uh... Is it, uh, let's see, how would you say this in German? Uh, this, this is the game of life. Uh, I'll be the same. Ah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. He's gonna block now. Oh, and it did. Okay, that's a good place to stop. <laughs> Didn't All right, get ripped their chest plates off. Like I said, uh, you know. das ist uh, Game Room. Auf Wiedersehen.